Welcome back to the Anesthesia Board Review, and now we're going to talk about anesthesia for thoracic surgery. Our patient's a 69-year-old male, scheduled for a pneumonectomy, history of hypertension, CAD, atrial fibrillation, obstructive pulmonary disease, chronic smoking with a very large lung mass. As you flip through the patient's medical chart, you take notice that the patient has a history of dyspnea. It's important not only to recognize the fact that the patient has a history of dyspnea, but what's of more value is to understand that the nature of the patient's disease process. By determining the nature of the patient's disease process, we're able to better understand and get a more clear clinical picture of the patient and ultimately determine the severity of the underlying condition. Determining the level of physical activity in order to produce dyspnea helps to determine the severity of the underlying cardiopulmonary condition. Therefore, as you obtain a thorough history of the patient, it's important to ask questions pertaining to the level of activity in order to produce the symptoms of dyspnea. 